Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescaserace.com coming at you with 21-22 Tops Finest UEFA Champions League Soccer. Four box, random team break number one. All card chips, it's a 20 spot break. And there's the team list right here. A lot of the top teams from a lot of the big leagues. A big thanks to this group for making it happen. And there are the team list right there, plus some combos. Let's roll it, randomize names and teams, three and a five, eight times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we got Kennard down to Daniel. Three and a five, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Three and a five, eight times, eight times. We've got Borussia Dortmund down to Sporting Club de Portugal. All right, Kennard with Borussia Dortmund. Taylor with Inter Milan. Harish with Chelsea. Michael with Atletico Madrid. Matthew with my club, Liverpool. Uh, Michael with Leipzig, Will with Porto and Salzburg, Ryan with Wolfsburg and Sevilla, Carlos with Atalanta, Michael with Bayern München or Bayern Munich, Alan with Barcelona, Matt with Bruges and Lille, Daniel with Man City, Harish with Paris Saint-Germain, Daniel Katz, Real Madrid, Taylor with Ajax, Harish with Juve Juventus, Robert with AC Milan, Harish with Manchester United, and Daniel with Sporting. Let's order these alphabetically by team, and we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. Stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here in this Champions League break. 21-22, finest UEFA Champions League soccer. Which is, you're really just getting the top teams, right? Just the Champions League teams. Also, fun fact, these cards made in Italy. So we've got four boxes over here and four boxes over here. Uh, we'll go one, two, three for the back four and four, five, six for the front four. And these are nice uh, Liverpool red die right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's one, so we'll be doing the back four right here. And these we will save for, for next time. So we'll put those uh, X's on the boxes right there so we know they're from the same case. And away we go. One autograph per mini box. Mm, packaging feels a little a little different. Made in Italy. All card chip, and if you're if you don't collect too much soccer, but we're thinking about getting into it now, now would be a good time because the World Cup coming up this year. Usually, uh, 
it'd be, it would have happened in the summer. Actually, it, in a usual World Cup cycle, I feel like it'd be, it'd be the tournament would be over by now. But no, it's in the winter. I think for us, uh, it starts around Thanksgiving week, which will be an odd time for uh, be a unique World Cup experience. That's for sure. But usually values start to start ticking up on soccer players during a World Cup year, so it might be a good time to, to get into it. Jao Felish. I like this insert right here too. Prize footballers. Bayern Munich. And I like that you start getting some RCs, rookie cards, in there as well. And we got Antonio Blanco to 199. That is uh, for Real Madrid. And I want to say that Real Madrid, because of their white jerseys, or shirts as they call them, uh, are the Los Blancos. So there's Antonio Blanco for Los Blancos. There's Sané. Virgil van Dijk. Nice. There's Ansu Fati, prized... And David Alaba, 008 out of 250. So here's another one for Real Madrid, Daniel Katz. And then their La Liga rivals, there's Ansu Fati, a uh, nice young player here. Barcelona, that's going to go to Alan. Alan Murdoch, Last Bot Mojo with Barca. I haven't seen our autographs yet. Christian. Oh, there it is. For Paris Saint-Germain, rookie auto, Edouard Michoute. Not too familiar with this player, but this will go to Harish where the PSG. 31 out of 150. Jude Bellingham, he might be in a Liverpool shirt by, by next summer. And here's a silver Christian Pulisic. Got Alfonso Davies again, prize footballers. And we got a Sadio Mane, 18 out of 75 for Liverpool. I'm gonna miss this guy. Went to went to uh, the Bundesliga. But we appreciate his time here at Liverpool. Matthew Wood with Liverpool. Frankie de Jong. Another Ansu Fati insert. And our second auto is Mark Andre Terstegen. Great, great keeper for uh, for Barca. That'll be for Allen. Box one in the books. Box two. All the major soccer leagues getting underway in Europe. And I think we'll probably start to see some early UEFA Champions League qualifying matches. We'll start seeing proper group stage matches eventually. Interesting, FIFA, here's a headline from ESPN 
fc.com. Sip on some coffee here. Um, FIFA moves Qatar World Cup a day forward. Qatar Ecuador to be the first match. FIFA has moved the start of the World Cup forward by a single day, meaning the tournament will now begin on Sunday, November 20th, rather than the initial scheduled date of Monday, November 21st. The first game of the uh, finals will now be the host nation's Cutters Clash with Ecuador, Sunday, 7 p.m. local time, which would be 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. my time. Oh, there's be a lot of, lot of early mornings during the World Cup, a lot of sleepless a lot of sleepless nights, a little, uh, a lot of tired eyes. Um, so it'll be Qatar, Ecuador instead of uh, Senegal, Netherlands. It means the World Cup will be extended to 29 days, with the final taking place on Sunday, December 18th. So a day earlier for whatever that's worth. And there's my guy right here, Mohamed Salah, 98 out of 250. Signing in a nice little extension with Liverpool. Very excited about that, Matthew. Although Liverpool ended up with a drawing with Fulham to start the season. I guess I'm not sure who not too familiar with Armindo Sieb, but rookie refractor. You gotta take care of that in case he ends up being a, a superstar. There's nice Romelo Lukaku, and we got Jaden Sancho, 99 out of 150 for Man United. Tarish with Man United. One of my rivals. And our autograph is Zhao Cancelo. Nice. Man City. Daniel Katz. And we have a uh, Caio Jorge, 99 out of 175. Nice rookie speckle for Juve. Juventus, that goes to Harish. I feel like every time I flip these cards around, they'll, they'll, they'll go upside down again. There he is again. It's more more about this kid here. And nice uh, Erlen Holland, prized footballers insert, and that is still a uh, Borussia Dortmund edition. That goes to Canard Bolt. Nice. And we got 23 out of 99, Pedro Gonçalves for Sporting Club de Portugal. That'll be for Daniel. And the final, oh, nice Ansu Fati autograph. Great auto for Alan Murdoch and Barcelona. 70 out of 150. 
a rising star in world football. How old is he? He's only 19 years old, Alan. There he is. He's Barcelona's number 10. He's a forward. He's 19 years old. You know, that's that's what you uh that's what you want to see. Right, if he can stay healthy, a superstar, says Chase, and plays for the uh, Spanish national team. So he may raise his stock during the season and during that World Cup. Under his Wikipedia page, under style of play, first sentence widely considered by several pundits to be the most talented and promising young players in the world. Fati's playing style has been widely compared to that of former Barcelona superstar Lionel Messi. A versatile forward, Fati is capable of playing in any attacking position. He started his career as an out and out striker, although he was later moved to the position of left winger. Adept with either, either foot, despite being naturally right-footed. He can play on the right flank, in the center as a false nine, a second striker, a number 11, or in a free role as an attacking midfielder or a classic number 10. A 2019 profile by 442 Magazine described him with the following words, quote, standing at 5 foot 10 inches, Fati boasts a powerful frame and brings a physical approach to the game, which is often lacking among a technically gifted Barcelona side. Nevertheless, despite his robust uh, physique, the La Masia graduate uh, possesses outstanding dribbling skills, which combined with his speed makes him incredibly difficult to stop in one-on-one -on -one situations. Yeah. I think he hasn't really made a lot of appearances for the national team, only four appearances for the national team, but I'll bet, I'll bet he'll get a lot of, I'll bet he'll get a lot of run uh, this winter. So great hit, Alan. Last spot Mojo strikes again. 70% of the time, it's 100% of the time. Here's Jorge again with uh, Juventus. It's for Harish. Yeah, chasing Spain, has the midfield to set him up. Barcelona too. There's Lionel the the Messi in his PSG gear. And there's Luke Shaw. Man United defender Luke Shaw. And that will be for Harish. What 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 group is Spain in? Spain is in a group is in Group E in the World Cup, and uh, Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, Japan. Hey, what's going on, man? I didn't realize you were here. Yeah, you were hiding. I was. I was doing my sword. Doing your sword? No, I'm I'm good, sir. Is it already quitting time? It is. Yeah, six o'clock. Six o'clock. We're already there. No, I'm good, sir. Thank you. I'm glad you're here, safe. Safe and sound. It was, it was a little, little uh, crazy on the roads. Yeah, I heard. Alright, I'll see you uh, Monday. Monday. Are you working Sunday? I'm not. No. Okay. They're Centurions. Lionel Messi. I'll see you next next week then. That's for Paris Saint Germain. That's for Harish. And then we got Gavi. Finest Futures, Refractor, Rookie Refractor for Barcelona. And a nice, uh, what, Lava? To 199, Christian Pulisic. That is going to be for Harish and Chelsea. Hopefully this guy 
also stays healthy, maybe not for Chelsea, but for, for us, for the United States, would be, would be really nice. We're in a wild group here. Uh, we're in a group with England, Iran, and Wales. England and Wales should definitely be tough matchups. And it's Kayo again. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll make it to the knockout stage. 174 out of 250. We should, right? Should be should be England and the U.S. One two. I, f I feel like in that group. We got a nice autograph here. It is Donny Olmo for Red Bull Leipzig. That'll be for Michael P. Nice parallel here, three out of 99. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. There's Antoine Griezmann, Jordan Henderson, Robert Lewandowski, and we got Jonathan David, 26 out of 75. Did we not get a second autograph? Or no, Luke Shaw was that first autograph, right? All right, fourth and final box. Very exciting to have a, have a World Cup year here. What's going on with the 2022-23 UEFA Champions League? Oh, I guess qualification has already started, 21st of June to the 24th of August, and then the, the proper competition will start September 6th all the way through June, so a nice little in-season tournament happening here. I don't think I don't think we're even in the proper, I don't think they even, yeah, they haven't even done group drawings yet, they still have to do a lot of the qualifying stuff. Where's the final this year? Ah, uh, the Olympic Stadium in Istanbul will be will host the final. Yeah, that UEFA Champions League is is pretty exciting. It'd be cool to moments like that where I kind of wish I lived in Europe so I can just kind of. You know, you can you have an ex built an excuse to do a little traveling. You can bounce around from from like a final city to a final city for the Champions League. Um, the MLS and Liga MX, the Mexican League, had their All Star game. We played each other in the All Star game. Uh, yeah, last night. A couple nights ago? Or was it last? I think it was last night, actually. And, um, yeah, I think they were talking to the MLS commissioner, and, and he was like, you know, this, this All-Star game has grown so much over, over the recent years that they would love to, you know, it's just good for North American soccer in general. Would love to see, like, would love to see, like, the CONCACAF Champions League kind of reach or not, I don't think it'll reach UEFA proportions, but you know, just be a little more, a little more interesting for people would be nice. All right, so we got a lot going on here. We got Alfonso Davies, twenty-one out of fifty. Need some more top loaders here. These throwback uniforms. 
in the Field of Dreams game here. Look pretty sharp. Here's Futures, Nuno Mendez. Futures, finest Futures insert, rookie for Paris Saint-Germain. That's for Harish. Alfonso Davies, by the way, goes to Bayern Munich. That's going to be... It's going to be for Michael P. We got a Lava parallel, 199 out of 199. Duvan Zapata for Atalanta. That's going to be for Carlos. And a Lionel Messi refractor. I don't know how much these go for, but it is Lionel Messi. It is a refractor. It is Paris Saint-Germain. That's for Harish. Oh, and there's the autograph. It is Dehan Kulusevsky for Juventus. Juve, that'll be for Harish with that autograph. First of two. 11 out of 50. And then we got nice Antoine Greitzman. 86 out of 125 for Atletico Madrid. And that'll be for Michael P. Gavi and Sergio Ramos, Every, everyone's favorite, Sergio Ramos. 105, what, what is he, is he like the, like the Grayson Allen, maybe, of soccer? No, he's better than Grayson Allen. Like, he's a good player, but a little dirty. Dennis Rodman, maybe? And the final autograph is Henrik Larsson. Another forward for Barca, another one for Alan Murdoch. Yeah, maybe a little, maybe Sergio Ramos, a little Draymond Greenish. All right, we got a nice uh, Erlen Holland here. I don't know what these base cards go for, but, but he looked good in his first game with Man City. That's not what, as a Liverpool fan, that's not what I wanted to see. Lewandowski made his move too. This is Byron, still Byron Munich edition though. And there you have it, gang. A nice break of, nice four box random team break of 21 22 tops UEFA Champions League soccer. Another four boxes in the store. Let's get it done. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Bye bye.